What do you think? Should we go put you in the river? That's pretty long. That's about 15 rosies long. Tell me what you got here. We got all our fossils from different times we've gone arrowhead hunting. And we come up to the Gray Creek Mound today. They're having a fossil day. See the sign up there. We're gonna have them looked at. It says, don't rock it getting in and out. We got a big old dugout canoe here. Take a picture of that. You can pause and read it. Pretty cool. I'm not sure if these are real or they're replicas, but they're pretty cool. A little examples of a nest there. The plot of case that was a duck built dinosaur. It's pretty cool. What we got here, Emma? Please touch. They want you to look at those. Mammoth tooth and the mastodon tooth. Alright, that's pretty cool. You don't find fossils like this down the river. One here is a big tusk. How'd you like to dig one of them out of the ground, Emma? Somehow they managed to get a picture of Douglas in here into one of the exhibits. Pretty uncanny. Giant ground sloth skull. been looking around the different Native American artifacts and sites. This place starting to fill up. They're having a fossil day here. We brought up our fossils to get looked at. So we're gonna go around and look at some stuff and maybe do some of these activities and then we're gonna talk to somebody and see what kind of fossils we've got. He did I mean, I would say worse teeth. That's awesome. That's a is that it's a shark tooth, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty cool. There's bones there, Doug. There's another shark tooth right there. That's awesome. This is a coral. Okay. So it's just a single one of these. Oh, gotcha. Which were very common back in the Paleozoic, was just having single corals. Yeah. They're called horn corals. Horn coral, yeah, I've heard yeah, that before. Because it looks like a little horn. See the bottom there, it probably broke off. This is, this is another type of coral. Um, so, um, so this one is a tabulate coral. Okay. And then this one is a rugose coral. Okay. So they're two different types of coral. 
Okay, cool. And and the difference, how you tell them apart is these things here. The lines, yeah. Yeah, at the top, because the Rugos have them and the tabulates do not. Okay. Found that on the Hawking too. I wasn't sure what that was at all. This is another Rugos coral. It's just bigger. So see, those are those, those lines. Yep. That is beautiful. They're really beautiful. crystalline inside. Yeah. That is beautiful. This should be another tabulate coral. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess the brachiopod. Yeah, we weren't sure. Just saw those lines. I almost missed that one. It's, it's, the other one it would be is a clam. Okay. But I think it's a brachiopod. Okay. Um, which is similar to a clam, but different. That feels like yeah, a lot of things that. in life. Things are similar. That's a, another Rugo squirrel. Okay. As you can see, they come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Oh yeah, another tabulate coral is this one. Okay, yeah, that's the other one I remember seeing. And which which one do you think's the oldest? They're, did they all come from the same place? Either the Ohio or the Hawking Rivers. Okay, it's all pre-dinosaurs. Yeah, for sure. Um, except oh. for the horse teeth. Now, do you th that's it. The rock because I thought. Let me see now if I got it right here. See how its head is here? Yeah. It's all the way down here and down here. Well, all of that didn't come off. Just, uh, just that right here. And that broke, the stem broke, so I had to prop it up and glue it together. That's pretty neat. Some guy wanted a picture of that, and he couldn't get a picture of it through that glass. And here was the back side of the head. That's pretty cool. And uh, so I took it apart for him, and he took and had it identified. And this is what the man identified, so that he was the, supposed to be the expert in crinoids. Yeah. Is that how you say crinoid? Yeah. Well, I was I wondering if it was crinoid, crinoid or crinoid. Some people call it crinoid. Yeah, I wasn't ever sure. No, I'm not either, but I'm, I know what comes off my tongue. <laughs> there you go. These are all pretty cool. Yeah. Now, uh, these two came from... A woman bought this at an auction, had it in her flower bed, and we were delivering apples. And I said, boy, you have a beautiful brain coral there, but you ought to, and it was black. And she I said, didn't know what it was? No. And she, I said, but it was black. And I said, you ought to clean that up and put that in your, in the house with your coffee table, on your coffee table. Oh, she says, I'm not going to do that. But she told me she bought it at a, an auction sale. That's pretty And cool. so when we left... We were leaving. She hollered at me. She says, "You want that brain coral?" Oh yeah. I said, "Man, you couldn't find a better home for it." She says, "Did you see the one around the corner?" I said, "No." So she went around the corner and gave me that. One. So <laughs> we ended up with two. So I say, "These come out of a West Virginia flower bed." <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I think uh, I think a friend of ours found one of these over in one of the islands. I'm over near Morocco or someplace like that. I've never found anything that neat before. No, we found some did. fossils. No. She's got those teeth. <laughs> yeah, imagine that for a canal. <laughs> what are you doing, Rosie? Excavating for fossils? What did you find? Good, you start scraping some of the dirt away. I found a fossil. That's exactly how we do it when we do our digs on uh, at big sites outside. We start off really careful, but we can get a little bit aggressive when we know something's down there, especially in paleontology. Sometimes we have to use things like rock hammers. Um, we tried to use a sledgehammer once to crack open a boulder, and it broke the sledgehammer. Pick you one of these little ones down here. We'll each pick one out, and then we'll show them off in a little bit. Can I get one of these? Fossils here, pretty cool. Oh, where's your Yeah, fossils. All right, we're All right, so we were able to get some of our fossils looked at. Right off the bat, we had a few things. I thought this was a fossil. And uh archaeologist up there, assuming you're an archaeologist, that looked at all our pieces, ruled that out, and this piece. They said that was just some type of geological formation. So, 
But the rest of the stuff sitting here definitely are different types of fossils. She identified that as horse teeth. I've been told by people that they were ancient horses that went extinct over here, but she seemed to think it was just more modern horse teeth. Something uh, from the Europeans bringing the horses back over. But we found that piece on the Hawking River. I think we found this one up there too. I, I'm not 100% sure remember where we found it, but we got all these pieces identified as fossils. This one wasn't identified as a fossil so much as when she looked at it under a microscope, she thought it was a piece of rock that like coral and other organisms latched onto. So it's kind of like the remains of uh, where those animals were living in an ecosystem. You can see this one close up. And then these last two here, these were my favorite ones because they have almost like this honeycomb kind of thing going on on them. we got these last two here that's my favorite ones. They kind of have like a honeycomb design to them. And they were some type of coral. And all these different pieces here, according to the... Uh, fossil expert up there at the museum. These are different coral and aquatic animals that were all alive before the dinosaurs. So hundreds and hundreds of millions of years old. So that's pretty cool. And then we did some activities and off camera, Rosie made this little mold here of, a, of an ammonite. That was pretty neat. My wife likes to get postcards of anywhere we go, so we got three or four of the mound in the museum. And we'll put those away. She's got a place she puts those. And we bought a couple knickknacks. We got that replica arrowhead there. They were selling these for a dollar. It might seem like a lot, but I thought it was kind of cool. It had West Virginia on it, little marble. Um, and we got these fossils here. First one's this one I picked out, and you can pause and read that. An old squid fossil. They polish them up and sell them in the stores. I'm sure they're pretty common fossils, but we thought they were pretty cool, so we picked some up. You could pause and read this one for the black ammonite. And you can see it, it kind of has these little hollowed out spots on the back. Oh, I thought that was pretty cool. And Rose picked one out. You can read that there and pause it. That's the one she picked out. They kind of made it into a heart shape. It's pretty much all the goodies we have today. We kind of narrowed down our fossil collection. We knocked three or four pieces out that we thought were fossils that weren't, but now we know we got some old stuff. And that just kind of adds to the collection. So that's what we did today. It was a pretty good day. Appreciate everybody watching.